Hey, Desmond Du here. Today we're gonna to learn how to randomly review this randomly placed emoji, which are randomly selected. So that's a lot of random functions right there. Um, let's begin. First of all, let's download our assets. So if you go to Google and type in emoji WhatsApp, you go to first result, and you have a web page that's filled with a, a bunch of emojis. And uh, instead of manually saving our emoji, what we can do is hit Command S and save it hit save out the HTML into a downloads page. So it'll take a while. And once that is done, you'll get two things. Uh, HTML and then a folder with all the assets uh, from the HTML we just saved. So we have all the PNG uh, images of the emoji that is present on this page. Just a quick trick to download images uh, off the internet. Alright, so let's go to After Effects and import all these images. Alright, in After Effects, first of all, let's create a new folder and call it Emoji. Hit Command I to import our images. So we're going to randomly select maybe this much of emojis. Click open. All right. So the next thing we want to do is uh, we can grab this folder, right click, new comp from selection, and we're going to do new composition at one frame per second and sequence layer and click OK. We want to do this is because that we, we're going to randomly select an emoji by referencing uh, each frame number. As you can see, if I would play this pre-com over here, it's showing a different emoji. And we're gonna write an expression into time remap to access uh, each frame, each emoji at each frame. All right, so let's rename this pre-com, uh, command K and type emoji. Okay, and now we're gonna drag it onto our, drag it out into our root folder. Actually, we could put this in a folder. And we can type uh, exclamation mark comps, and we can put the rest of the of this em uh, emojis into an in folder. Oops, let's try again, and let's type images. All right, just good housekeeping here. Oops, and uh, put it into the emoji folder. All right, so in our com, uh, let's create. A new composition, Command N, we're going to do Full HD, 1920 by 1080. And we're going to do about 5 seconds and click OK. So let's drop that pre-com over here of the emoji and scale it up a bit so we can see it clearer. So as I as scrub through the timeline, it's playing each, uh, every single emoji. We don't want that, we just want one emoji at a time. So let's uh, hit uh, write an expression into time remap. Hit Command Option T. And then hold down option and click on the stopwatch. The expression we're going to use is C random zero comma true. So this first statement prevents uh, After Effects from generating random values at each uh, each frame. We just want one constant value. And then hit enter. Uh, we're going to type in random zero comma hundred. And then we're going to uh, click outside of uh, the of the expression box and as you can see it doesn't work because time remapping only accept time code so it's not going to accept um, frame number i mean what we want is frame number so to do that we have to write another expression let's convert this random uh, expression into a variable first called t and then we're going to type frames to time and we're going to type in the t and click outside of stopwatch as you can see it's one angry emoji right here. Hit Command D, it's another emoji. Command D again, another emoji. If I scrub through the timeline, you know, I'm not, I'm, the, I'm just getting uh, all this fixed emoji. So with this uh, technique, we have learned how to randomly sprite uh, our, our emojis. The next thing we wanna do is to randomly displace our emojis by going to the position and writing, you know, one more expression. All right, so let's go to our first layer, hit P, and then uh, hold down Option and click on the stopwatch. Again, seed random, zero, comma, true. So we can use any value for the seed, uh, it could be 37, and then back uh, semicolon. And we're gonna randomize the X and Y value. So X equals to random, zero, comma, 19, uh, 1920. Uh, that's our com width, and we're gonna do, 
uh, random the y as well, 0, comma, 1080, which is our height. And we're going to create an array. So we're typing a square bracket, x, comma, y. So we're putting our x and y variables into this array. And then click outside of the text box, expression box again. And uh, it's been displaced. Let's copy this expression onto the rest of the emoji. So click on position, command C, command A to select all, uh, all the layers, command V to place all, uh, place the expression. All right, now let's command D to duplicate all these uh, all these layers. As you can see, every emoji has been randomly displaced. The last thing to do now is to randomly review all these layers. So before we get to that, we first need to understand one more expression, and that's called linear. I'm going to create a new composition, and I'm going to type in linear, and I'll explain to you what's going on. I'm going to create a text value, uh, create a text layer. So I'm not going to type anything. If I open up, uh, press, press W, I can get, um, can open up these two parameters. What we want is just source text. So we're going to write an expression into the source text so you can see clearly what's going on as I write the expression. Well, option and click on the source text to write an expression. We can type linear bracket time comma zero comma one. 0, 100. All right, and that's all. If I were to scrub through my timeline, you can see the values increasing. And when I reach one second, uh, it's going to be 100. Uh, let me just increase this, this text box. So let me scrub through. It's going to start from 0. And as we go to one second, it's going to be at 100. So you can change this value. It could be 200. It could be. It could take two seconds to to reach the final value. All right, so we're gonna make use of this to create a threshold uh, to review our images. So let's go back to our random review composition, and we're gonna go to our emoji, our first emoji layer. Hit T to get opacity. O option, click on the stopwatch, and we're gonna type in. Uh, first of all, we need duration of uh, how long this review will take. So let's create a variable called dir for duration equals to one semicolon hit enter and we're going to type in we create a variable called threshold equals to and we're going to make use of that uh, expression we just we just learned linear and we're going to type in time comma zero comma dir and then we're going to type in from uh, zero to hundred all right so we can also and then semicolon we can write comments uh, by hitting double slash and so we can just type in as time goes from zero to hundred no zero to one second you know value goes to zero to one hundred all right so this is just for our own reference uh, in case you want to write comments for yourself or other users all right now we got a, uh, we got the threshold. We're gonna create a random value uh, to kind of so we're gonna create a random value for each emoji layer. And when this random value it is less than the threshold, it's gonna review itself. So let's first of all create that random value by typing c random zero comma true. And after that, uh, we're gonna create a Ran, create another variable called random value equals to um, random bracket. So this is going to generate a value from 0 to 1. All right. So we actually don't want it to be 100. We want uh, for, for our threshold, we want it to be max. And then, yeah, let's change that in our comments. And then we're going to write a conditional statement, uh, an if statement. So if it basically it's type if bracket random value is less than threshold. All right. So and then uh, the statement that will happen. So you got to type in a curly bracket uh, 100 and then close uh, the curly bracket and then if and then else 
0. So to explain what's going on here is that the threshold is going to run from 0 to 1 uh, in one second. So and then each layer has a random value from uh, between 0 to 1. So it could be 0 0.1. So when it when it becomes uh, less than the threshold, it's going to re it's going to hit 100. And that's basically how this expression works. All right, let's click outside the text box. Let's copy this uh, expression so we can see everything clearly. Command C on the opacity, Command A, and Command V. Okay, and now let's go to our the start of the timeline, and you can see it's uh, everything's gone. And if I were to play a RAM preview, it and it all randomly review itself. And um, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. If you want more control in this setup, what we can do is create a now object, right? So hit Command Option Y, and we can call this Control, and we can create a uh, to dynamically, you know, change the duration of the expression instead of like hard coding it a value over here. We can use a layer control, uh, a slider control. So go to Effects and Preset and type in Slider slider control and drag and drop onto the now object. So we're going to map. So this slider control is going to be uh, the value for duration. So in, uh, in our opacity expression, all right, we can select one and then select the pick width and grab it onto the slider value. So this duration is going to reference uh, our now object. So we can also rename our slide control, hit return, and it's called as duration. All right, and you can see After Effects ups, updates the name of the layer. And we would copy this uh, opacity expression again. Let's hit Command A and deselect the now object. Hit Command V. And then let's go back to our control. So right now, if I want to make it maybe three seconds to review, and let's play that. So it's just going to take three seconds to review and I can, I don't have to go back to my expression all the time and change it, change the, the duration and copy and paste all over again. I can just use this uh, slider control to uh, effic efficiently control duration. And uh, that's how you randomly displays, uh, randomly uh, review all this, randomly displays, randomly selected emojis. Thank you for all watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Please visit my website at docs.nosleepcreative.com for my curated list of expressions that you can use for your projects.